Welcome everybody, my name is Michael, and today we're discussing about PayPal. They currently have cryptocurrency holdings that were revealed over $604 million. Of that, PayPal is currently holding $291 million in Bitcoin, $250 million in Ethereum, and another $63 million in Litecoin and Beak. Bitcoin Cash, wanted, wanted to say it. So Bitcoin and Ethereum accounts for almost 90% of that figure. It's not surprising. PayPal was one of the early dot-com companies that still is around today, has a lot of money, has a lot of smart people. Obviously, they were involved in cryptocurrency. The founders, a lot of people who work there. So it was inevitable for PayPal to get alongside with crypto. And technically, yes, you cannot withdraw from it, whatever. There's limitations. But yes, you're able to purchase and sell cryptocurrency through PayPal. And that's a big part of that. So right now, the $604 million is down from $690 million that the company held in September. And that's probably because of fluctuations situations in the market. Um, this is everywhere, all across the board, stocks, cryptocurrency, Forex, whatever. Right now, this was revealed in the report. Every At the end of every year, it has to be revealed uh, for uh, an exchange commission report to the SEC. And with that, they introduced cryptocurrency not too long ago, October 2020. Uh, they have since expanded the access to the United Kingdom, and pretty soon it's going to be international. So this is the first time we have a breakdown from PayPal exactly what they have. And right now, crypto is actually doing all right. So it is possible they're going to have a billion dollars pretty soon if Bitcoin and Ethereum start rising. Bitcoin's uh, well into the 20s. It, it feels strong. And right now, here's what PayPal has to say. Due to the unique risks associated with cryptocurrencies, including technological, legal, and regulatory risks, we recognize a crypto asset safeguarding liability to reflect our obligation to safeguard the crypto assets held for the benefit of our customers. We cannot be certain that these contractual obligations, even if duly observed by the custodian, will be effective in preventing such assets from being treated as part of the custodian's estate under bankruptcy or other insolvency law. So, essentially, contractually, they're required for the custodian to segregate customer assets and not mix them with other propriety, proprietary or other assets. CEO Dan Schulman revealed last week that he is leaving the company by the end of the year, and he was on there since it has split off from eBay back in 2015. Do you remember that? I remember that. That was crazy, yeah. I remember PayPal and eBay. That was... That was huge. I used to use eBay a lot as a seller and as a purchaser until I got banned from eBay indefinitely. And then they unbanned me after five years. And I think I got banned because um, it's such a silly reason. I wanted to sell Call of Duty, whatever the latest Call of Duty was in PlayStations before they came out. That's it. You know, you, you can easily find, well, I could have easily found sources la uh, when I was doing this as a kid, as a teenager that you get it a month before and people are willing to pay a premium. But uh, eBay did not like that. So currently, um, they reduced their workforce by 7% or around 2,000 employees as part of its ongoing effort to strengthen and reshape in a challenging macroeconomic environment. Typical corporate talk. So very exciting. Uh, in terms of cryptocurrency in general, Ethereum's just above 1,500. Bitcoin's close to 22. And total market cap, uh, one trillion, 20 million, over, I'm sorry, 20 billion over one trillion. It's a weird environment right now, but we're feeling a little bit more stabler than before, than at least a month prior. So it is getting better and better. With that said, just want to thank you guys for joining in on today's video. It kind of looks like the sunshine, but it's not. Um, but you can see it is, the sun is setting. So have a good one. Take care. That is kind of cool. Oh, yeah.